Hey, this is Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're surviving quarantine. I want to talk with you today about building others up. Um, it kind of hit me this morning that I have to be really careful, not only during quarantine, but in just in my everyday life, but especially during this time because I'm around the same people all day, all night, every day, Groundhog Day. And at times, you know, it can kind of become... Um, not that you want to be frustrated with them, but just it can be frustrating not being able to do what you know you need to be doing. So I have really started focusing on how can I build them up? Because Abigail today did something that was really cool. Uh, we have a lawnmower and she's been mowing the grass and she wanted to hook her little uh, garden wagon up to it. And she didn't talk to me about it. I don't know if she talked to Jordan about it, but she came pulling around and she had taken this PVC pipe and she'd taken a bungee cord and bolts and nuts and washers and taken the handle off of the wagon and created this bar to attach um, her little wagon to the, to the lawnmower. And I immediately started to say like, you know, hey, you could have done it this way. And I caught myself. And I, you know, praised her. I said, hey, that was because what she did for being 15 uh, and not having done something like that before was really cool. I mean, the way she did it and the design and the thought she put into it. Um, so, you know, I spent three or four or five minutes letting her show me everything she had done, how she had done it. And then instead of me, you know, coming right out and saying, well, you could have done it this way and kind of pushing her down, not meaning to. When she was finished telling me, she said, hey, how do you think I could make this better? So I got to share my ideas. I got to share my feedback, but I got to do it at the time and the place that she wanted it. So it didn't tear her down. It didn't challenge her or make her be defensive about what she had done. Um, it was able, I was able to, and because of her as well, but I was able to build her up. And so after that experience, I started, you know, just kind of internalizing, thinking, you know, what else? You know, it um, in my own life, and I'm not sure about you, I can, I can tend to see the negative in everything. Well, you know, that could be better this way, or you should have done it that way, or, you know, what are you thinking instead of being like, hey, that, you know, thank you for doing that. You know, it's kind of like walking into the room that's been, you know, vacuumed and dusted and cleaned and going, oh, you missed a spot over there. Right? And that's the tendency. But we need to, especially during these times, to walk in and praise, build the other one up, say, hey, you did an excellent job on that. That looks great. You know, your hair looks good. You, 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 you cleaned up today or, you know, but not saying it in a sarcastic way or, hey, that was really good. That idea is like really good. Tell me more about it and build them up. Because these are our loved ones. These are our family members. These are our friends. These are the people who should be able to count on us the most. So during this time of quarantine, but in any time, but especially now, let's focus on how can, how can we, how can you, how can I make the people around us feel better about themselves? be more encouraging about what they're doing and how we can help them, you know, grow and prosper and become more confident and become, you know, whatever they're going to do so they can grow and flourish. I hope this has been encouraging to you because it's certainly been encouraging to me to kind of catch one of those things that, you know, there's nothing really wrong with it. There's nothing really... Um, mean-hearted or mean-spirited about what I, you know, how I say things, but changing how, I, how I'm doing things, changing how I say things or when I say them um, can really impact the other person. I hope this has been encouragement to you. I hope you'll take this and apply it to your life. And if you want to learn more about handling life, you can visit handlinglife.org.